Hi guys, this is Adam from Adrenaline Cycles coming at you. We're gonna have a three part video series coming up here and it's basically um, having to do with a build here on an X3 Max. This is a 2020 model. Uh, we're building for our friends up at the Bell Life. Uh, we'll have a link down there for their website as well, their YouTube page. Um, great group of guys, uh, you know, they're just all about, you know, having fun, good old country boys. Uh, you know, they're from Kentucky, you know, and we are as well. Uh, they brought their unit down here and they've uh, gotten up with Evo and they've got a ton of parts. Uh, for the engine for performance um, we've hooked them up with a ton of parts for you know uh, reliability and durability and looks as well you got to have all those things so uh, stay tuned here guys and we'll go over this parts list and uh, give you guys a run down here in this first video of the series all right guys you know anybody that has the x3 loves the performance and loves to go fast well there's no exception with the guys from the bell life so they want to go faster and bigger and quicker than anybody else. And to do that, they've got the big turbo kit from Evo. This is a monstrous piece of equipment, you know, super, super nice. Comes complete as a kit here. So you're not reusing any piece of the factory turbo or the exhaust manifold. It's all comes from Evo, just like this guy. So it's a killer part. It's got all the valving and the hoses here. Going on down the line as part of this kit, um, we have a larger fuel pump. When you're talking making upwards of 300 horsepower, you know, the stock fuel pump just ain't going to cut it. So you'll see in this setup here, you'll get uh, everything you need to run the bigger fuel pump, which is all bubble wrapped up here and everything. Going on down the line here, more fuel from the pump. We got a nice billet rail here with some larger injectors, which is really nice to have. Again, you got to have this, guys, if you're making 300, 345 is what it should be making horsepower wise. And to control all that from the front, they have a map tuner here. It's set up with all the tunes from basically two to five. Um, I think they said they're gonna run E85 most of the time. So this thing's gonna be making 345, you know, to the crank. So that's a lot, a lot of power. Um, we're obviously gonna put the air kit in here to get some of the noise out of the cab. So, you know, you gotta have that guys. If you got that rattle or that high pitch squeal, you know, the air kit makes, you know, just so much easier to talk in the cab and so much quieter. Going on around here, we have a bunch more fuel pressure regulator here, some more hoses, some more electrical connections. I mean, this is a job, guys, so it, you know, make sure you're mechanically inclined if you order this kit from Evo and want to do it at home. Um, we'll step on around here and start showing some more of the performance mods, and then we'll get over to the longevity and durability modifications we're going to do. All right, guys, like I said, we got a lot of parts here for the Bell Life guys, and uh, it's going to take a little time to put together, but we'll continue down what we're going to do. As you can see here, we got the aluminum intake plenum for them. You know, the stock plastic one just ain't gonna cut it on this type of boost and performance. So we'll have that. They'll have the silicone tubes with the blow off valve and it'll have the stiffer spring where it's building so much more boost. So we got all that stuff from Evo. We got Evo's clutch kit as well. As you can see there, there's a bunch more parts and weights down in that box that we'll go through. Gotta have the shocker guys, if you're gonna have the big turbo, you know, spend the extra money, get the shocker so you can open up the free flowing exhaust and take full advantage of the sound and the performance. As well as the bigger intercooler, you gotta keep that uh, extra air cool and with the turbo being bigger, the bigger intercooler is a necessity, you gotta have that. Um, as always, we're gonna put a G-Boost or Evo Badass belt in there. Gotta have that. I mean, that I put them on stock applications, let alone a big turbo kit. And that's all the stuff from Evo, guys. Like I said, we've used Evo for years, never had a problem with their stuff. And the same way with the Bell Life, you know, they wanted something for, you know, reliability and longevity and, and you know, something that's, you know, not going to give them issues down the road. And with Evo products, they're not going to have that issue. Um, some other things that the guys wanted, uh, we're talking a little bit of aesthetics now and a little bit more towards the body of the machine. Uh, we picked up this B&M Hill Killer Shifter for the guys. So we'll install that, that set up there. That's really nice. Some of the guys here at the shop run that. They, they like it really well. Um, behind that, you can see here, we're gonna be installing some new tree bars. These have a lot more kick on them, as you can see from you know them guys riding right now, they've done broke some fender flares. So the bigger kick on our brand tree bars will help protect the fender flares from that, from these. I'm assuming these are super ATV ones, so we're gonna scrap those for them guys. They said they didn't like them, they weren't performing well, so those will go to the trash. Um, some other modifications to the body will be custom wheels and tires. 
The tires they're going with are gonna be some 35s and they're pretty brand new tire out. Uh, they've been out in a 32 and now they're available in a 35. So you guys will see that as the video comes along. Um, and the wheels are custom powder coated KMCs to match the springs and stuff we're doing. So we'll get into that color in a minute. Uh, moving on down the list here again we're talking about some durability and you know trail longevity we're going to be installing some ct upper and lower a arms boxed with some keller ball joints going to the rear of the machine he's going to get rear trail and arm ct for the back as well as all six rods for the radius rods so they'll be you know dude i mean they'll have to wreck this thing to tear it up because it, you know, it's a trail ride and you're not going to hurt it um, also in the front, we are going to use tie rods from CT as well to make the full suspension components. All CT works. So th they'll, they'll be bulletproof, bomb proof, whatever you want to call it. They're, they're ready to go with this setup. Over here, some more parts. We didn't open all this up yet just because we don't have the room. Uh, going down the list here is a power flip windshield for the guys. Full BRP aluminum doors, front and rear. We got I-Box springs that's going to be on the machine as well to get this thing up in the air and get the body sag out of it from factory. Uh, got a little um, accessory there for Trey. You know, we guys, uh, you know, you guys like it when uh, he had the horn video out there with the train horn. You know, it's not a full on air train horn, but it's the loudest 12 volt horn you can get. So we're going to put that in there for Trey so he can get Justin in the buggy when he likes to get outside and talk to people. So good little thing. They don't even know about that. But as you guys can see here, we're taking basically what we do is take a stock 2020 machine and we're going to turn it into, you know, one of the baddest limos out in the woods and probably the fastest limo anybody's seen in a long time, especially here on the East Coast. So stay tuned to the video, guys. Uh, we're going to, like I said, break it up into sections. The next section will probably be the bolt-on of accessories. The final one will probably be the all the Evo bolt-on of the big turbo and all that. And we'll have footage for that so you guys can kind of see the process. And then we'll have a video of ripping it and you know giving it up the road, make sure it's ready for the Bell Life guys to pick up so they can go um, take it to the trails and enjoy this thing. And as always guys, let me get you guys to hit the like and subscribe button below, click that notification bell, and just you know stay in, up with what we got going on here at the shop. We always got something going on, some kind of build. You know, it's just all the time something's going on, guys. You know, worth watching, worth worth learning. So stay tuned and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.